Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look at footies yesterday, a little, little look at the content that was released, but also looking forward into today. Where is that Renato SBC? EA Sports, where is that SBC? We need it this weekend, right? Especially because the footies content yesterday seemed a little bit lackluster, right? With nothing new coming into packs, the same cards with preview packs yesterday, SBCs that were decent, that were decent, but not fantastic. But objectives that were pretty solid, right? Of course, I'm a Spurs fan. I know a lot of you guys may not be that interested in an Emil Smith row or the Enketia, but both of these cards, in my opinion, are W's, right? For the game, especially for English fans, for Arsenal fans, you're super duper stoked for these. And it's nice that these are in the objective range and they're not super duper hard to get. Nine separate matches inside of that foot friendly Premier League, Premier Potential which is basically just just use a full prem team and you'll be sorted. So it's it's not that bad to get these guys done and to get them in the squad, whether it's for fodder purposes or actually just some more fun cards to try out. And Ketia looks really good, right? I think his card looks pretty sick. Smith Rowe looks pretty sick as well. So that was a W for those cards yesterday. We I was predict not predicting, but I heard rumors about those and those were the actual cards that did come out. So that was, I think, the kind of the bright spot yesterday in terms of content was that objectives. That was very nice. I like these dynamic duos that they're putting out. They did the Everton dynamic duo with Bernard and Allen. Now we have Smith Rowe and Enketia. Who's next, right? Keep them coming, EA Sports, whether objectives or SBCs. I like that. I like that idea. I think it's fantastic. I hope they keep it coming. Now, rolling it back and talking about SBCs, we had the Kingsley Coman, which we knew was coming, of course, based off of the card coming in concepts. We talked about that yesterday, but we did not know about this Bruno Perez. This card does look very good, but in my opinion, I know he was really good earlier on this year. I know it's going to be a very nice card. Um, I I just got Tavernier unlocked. And in my opinion, there's no room and no need for me to do this Bruno Perez SBC coming in at around 135,000 coins, which is not very expensive, to be honest. Uh, but with the links that he has, unless you're going to do a full Brazilian team or if there are going to be some Brazilian Weekend League Plus requirements, which could be very possible in the next couple of weeks. Other than that, I mean, this SBC probably is the best Brazilian right back in the game, apart from like maybe Carlos Alberto icon moments or something like that. But, um, you know, I think the links for this one just turned some people away. It's still a very, very nice card. But again, I just did Tavernier. I feel like I'm sorted at that position. I really don't think I need this Bruno Perez. So that's why for me, it was a bit lackluster, especially because we kind of had our heights set really high for that Renato, which still could come out today as an SBC or an objective. That idea of Renato Sanchez getting an SBC card today is not dead and gone. It could absolutely still happen today on this game. And to be honest with you, uh, I think the market would react in a pretty crazy way if that Renato was dropped, right? You saw how the market reacted earlier this week when they dropped the Atal, right? Literally midfielders on this game dropped in price uh, due to an objective card being released. People sold their tradable cards to go get this objective Atal. I mean, you guys remember what happened when the foot birthday um, Renato Sanchez was released. It was nuts, right? Of course, if they release another version of that Renato Sanchez footies, which I think they have to do, right? I think they have to do it. By the way, doing a great job with the capture system right now. We're flying through these. Let's see, boom, boom. I got to focus up. I get five animals now since I had that glitch the other night. If you guys saw my Twitter, I had like some glitch where it wouldn't load the capture. And now every time I flip animals, I get five of them instead of like one or two. It's crazy. But anyways, if there is a Renato this weekend, which I think this weekend would have to be the weekend, it really would. It would just be a perfect uh, perfect SBC to do for a footies favorite November. Again, the Bruno Perez was our first November footies favorite. Last week, we had two objectives and I believe two SBCs with Alan St. Maxman and Tellez released. So we're, we're expecting maybe two more of these November favorites, hopefully through a, an objective or an SBC. So I think there's still a lot of hope for Renato Sanchez. I'm kind of leaning towards an objective for Renato, but we'll see what EA Sports does about that. And hopefully they bring it out soon. But this weekend will be prime time for that SBC. Now, also yesterday, we had the 88 plus times five um, from footies 
uh, upgrade SBC. I did this one, and this SBC yesterday was basically a guaranteed what if Conte. We opened a bunch of them on stream, and you know, even guys were getting like Salah Road to the final. Eden Hazard rode to the final or another 92 rated card that would pop up in front of Conte. But Conte was literally in so many of these upgrade packs. We were kind of hoping that EA would do the same thing with what they did with the, uh, the glitched out Champions League pre ultimate upgrade, this one, and hoping that they would change the pack weight or like just give us a new pack, right? But they did not do that as of yet. But that pack yesterday was, you know, you're hoping to get a team of the year, right? That was kind of the your aim out of that pack was to hit a team of the year. If you didn't, you kind of maybe feel like, unless you got some really, really high rateds, it was a bit of a loss. So that's just kind of my opinion on that SBC. Not terrible, just not super duper amazing, right? And you could tell yesterday on the game that the content was just, it was just all right. It was just all right because again, you had SBC fodder that was dropping off for sure. We'll take a look at the index 84 just to show you how much it dropped off yesterday. It was a solid drop, right? Take a look at this. Now, some of these cards are coming back up a little bit just again after the supply has ended, which makes sense. But again, pretty big drop off there in that index. I think the 85s dropped off a pretty good amount as well. Now they're starting to rebound back a little bit into Saturdays. People expect more content and more SBCs, but Again, it was that supply yesterday. It was all about the preview packs. Now, I can't actually go into the store because I've got a duplicate 90 rated Suarez um, and I don't want to quick sell them at the moment because I want to wait and see what comes out today SBC wise. Uh, but we had the 82 to 86 uh, pack, which sucked for me. It was a terrible pack. Uh, that one with all the vanity items in it with the consumables made no sense in my opinion. We also had 100,000 coin packs and 25K packs that were previewable in the store. So again, a lot of those cards that were in batch one dropped off even more. Now, of course, some of them have rebounded back, but we're gonna talk about this a little bit. Some of these La Liga specials, again, they're gonna be coming down. Again, with even more supply this week, but with the increased demand from earlier on, I really think that some of these La Liga special cards are gonna start even dropping off today because the lower win thresholds for these cards mean that people will hit the seven, 12, and 15 win thresholds for the Weekend League Plus objectives earlier in the weekend than a normal weekend league plus. So I really would expect to see again, these La Liga items that are in packs right now, uh, either the foot birthdays, uh, some of the uh, other items that are, you know, like Future Stars Dest, Future Stars Ansu Fati, some of those cards, I would expect to see them start to drop off and get supplied on the market. And I think it's gonna be a pretty sizable drop off again, cause you've got those new red picks that are out, even though they're nerfed, people are still going after them. And uh, there's been some nice La Liga cards recently. They've really pushed the La Liga initiative. So if people are having fun with some of those cards this weekend uh, and the tradable ones that people had to buy to get those objectives done, you definitely will see a drop off in those. But again, yesterday, we actually saw a little bit of panic selling pre 6 p.m. because people knew, right? People, if you like watch this video or if you knew what happened last week, you knew there was probably going to be some price drops. There still were. Mendy was 112K in the morning before content dropped down to 100 and then dropped below into the low to mid 90s with that pack supply, but then rebounded back up to about 110 where he is now. Now, some cards had so much panic selling and not enough demand that their prices really did not move. Check out this Mbappe, 266,000 coin was panic sold all the way down to 236 before the content drop. Didn't really get pack supplied that much and just kind of actually, you know, went back up a little bit in price where his lowest point was actually in the panic selling before the, that supply actually came on the market. But for a lot of these cards that are still in packs, Salah, Ramos Team of the Year, Lewandowski Team of the Year, which didn't really rise today. I mean, I think this Coleman SBC and, and, and card does not have that much hype. I really don't think it does. You take a look, it's got a decent amount of upvotes because it's a nice French left, left mid, left wing, uh, but it's got the five-star weak foot, four-star skills. And I think people just did Alan St. Maxman. So, so they're like, why do I need this card? in my team, right? So, you know, I think that's why you saw Alfonso Davies went up a little bit, some of the links to that SBC card there, but the, the team of the year Lewandowski did not go up. And again, I expect all this stuff to really come down again out of the weekend league, especially if we were to get a big time SBC by the name of Renato Sanchez coming today on Saturday or an objective even, there would be just be so much hype placed onto that that a lot of people, just like they did with Atal, would sell cards and go focus solely on that objective right away. So I want to mention that. Now, also, the reason you're seeing Ronaldinho here on the most popular page on Footbin is because he is rumored to be the Icon Moments SBC that would be coming out on 
Sunday, right? Sunday is when we usually see Icon Moments SBCs, and he is that item for us supposedly coming on Sunday. So that's why you're seeing some panic selling there. That's why you're seeing that price down. Of course, we're going to keep an eye on that and cover that as it comes and as it potentially does drop. But that is the quote unquote rumor. Again, not confirmed, just a rumor. That'd be a big step up for an Icon SBC, right? That'd be another huge big name player, 4 million coin card. Just like Hullet Moments, I would expect this SBC to have probably 20 to 25 segments and cost somewhere between three to three and a half million coins. I think that's where they would price it. If it's anywhere below like 2.5 mil, that would probably be a dub in my opinion for that SBC. So again, I don't like talking too much about leaks and about rumors and stuff like that, but that's what is going on in the game. And if you see that card on the flipping page, I just want to talk about it because that's where a lot of the hype is right now in this game. And speaking of hype, let's talk about fodder too. Again, we said that yesterday's content would really would really dictate what happens on the market and on the game. And since there wasn't a lot of, not a lot of overall hype. Again, we looked at the graphs, we saw that fodder dropped. You know, today could be an interesting day with that SBC fodder once again. If you wanna to try to club stock it again, it all depends on the SBCs and the supply, right? It's kind of in one of those scenarios where you're really hoping that EA drops no preview packs or like 25K preview packs and that's it and then they drop big time SBCs, right? And that's what's gonna make fodder rise is some sort of repeatable SBC. We still got the footies player pick. We still have pack supply or like some sort of upgrade pack SBC that's coming almost every day. So maybe like Monday, Tuesday timeframe could be where you see fodder rise up a bit. If we have icon SBCs like Ronaldinho, an icon moments SBC of some sort that people would be interested in that's pretty cheap. And then maybe some other sort of repeatable pack supply or uh, I guess upgrade SBC as well could make some of this stuff go up. But really what I, I think you're gonna start to see today is just some of this market go down even more. Cause again, it's just coins are being rinsed and drained with the SBCs that are coming out. You're seeing a lot of these items from like Summer Stars um, and PTG and even Team of the Season cards fluctuate a, a good amount. For Charleston 570, he was like 500K flat earlier today. Laporte is up. Some of your Premier League cards actually went up today. And I think that is because of that online friendlies for the Smith Row and for the Enketia. This one, all of them went from like 170 to 200. So we went up a little bit, not a, not a big rise, but I think some people actually went out and bought some cards. I bought some Felix like in the 150s. Looks like he's kind of chilling around that same price. Uh, and I bought a Ferran Torres as well. I don't know. I forget if he was in team one or two. He was in team two. I got a couple of those under 120 because I thought that was pretty cheap. He's uh, still 120, so GG's. We'll try to make a profit on there in the morning. But that's kind of where I'm looking on the market right now, just is trying to trade with some of these more rare cards um, and the higher rated ones. Davinson Sanchez, 152. Now that's really low. That is really, we're going to take a look right there because this man has been 180 like all day today. If that's just sitting on the market, I am going to, even the 160, I, I would consider just scooping because I know he doesn't have many cards to 180. Okay, never mind. That is a bit of a buzzkill. None of them are sitting on the market, but we'll keep an eye on that because, you know, you're going to start to see those types of things happen today on Saturday, tomorrow into Sunday. When you see price drops like that, just because people are finishing their weekend league and getting rid of some cards. So that's kind of the state of the game right now, to be honest, boys, we're really just riding on the fact I'm not doing any more player picks this week. Like, I don't know what player picks they would drop on Sunday, but to me, What's gotten stale, and I was worried about this last week when they kept these cards batch one in packs for two weeks, I was getting worried that it would get a little bit stale in week two with these lesser quality cards in packs. And the cards that are coming out via objectives and SBCs are much better than what we have in packs. Now, of course, the stuff that's in packs is so cheap, which makes it a little bit better. Uh, but nobody's really using those cards, and that's why they're getting so low in prices that everybody's just trying to sell them when they pack them. And they were, they're going out and just buying Summer Stars, PTGs, uh, and Team of the Season cards that are better than most of the items that are in packs right now. So we really need that best of re-release number two. That needs to come fast so that we can get ready for that and have some new cards in packs. That'll be exciting next week. Um, and we'll talk more about what that means for like Team of the Season cards, maybe some of those Summer Stars and the PTG items. If we see some sell-off happening later this week, which could absolutely be a thing. So if you wanted to take the safe route, maybe you sell off some of those from your team. Not sure if they're going to be included in batch two PTG and summer stars items, but you're definitely going to see people preparing for that later on in the week. 
So if you wanted to get ahead of the game, maybe you would sell off some of those this weekend. Uh, because again, if, if they get re-released into packs, then you're 100% going to see price drops, just like you've seen this past week with all of these cards. So I'm going to try to flip these guys over the next day or so, get them out of there. I'm really not trading that hard at the moment, just kind of following some prices. Like I got a low open bid here on this Richarlison, see if I can snag that, sell that, you know, this... This got in shy. I missed a bit on this one, but you know, just kind of slowly checking around here, there, trying to find some undercuts. Maybe you find a deal, maybe you don't. It's really easy if you're putting effort into the market right now to make coins. Open bids are your best friend, 100%. That's why I'm watching that Richarlison. Um, but again, I just wanted to mention that I do see prices falling off a decent amount today. Hopefully, we have a big time SBC today by the name of Renato Sanchez. That's who we're hoping for. But another footies November favorite. And then we technically last week, we had two days with objectives in a row. It was uh, on Friday, Tavernier and Saturday, Alessandrini. So hopefully today we get another objective player as well as an SBC for a footies November favorite uh, or whatever other footies cards that they would like to drop. Just keep dropping cards, EA Sports. That's what we want, right? We want those footies items because they're cool and they're juiced. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.